everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and some lip swatches of the new Huda Beauty limited edition summer collection which was recently released in the UK and Sephora and Huda Beauty and loads of other places. To be honest I really hate it when brands release summer collections or whatever it is when it's like summer's nearly over to me you should launch summer collections in like uh may because may summer's starting and then you are able to use these products throughout the summer months rather than getting it in the middle of summer and if you're in london and july and it's like raining so anyway that little mini rant aside so she released a brand new highlighting palette as well as um about five liquid lipsticks i can't remember exactly off the top of my head how many i bought the highlighting palette as well as three of the liquid lipsticks so the first thing i'm going to show you is the highlighter palette but let me show you the packaging firstly let me just say this packaging is my favorite packaging out of all the other two i know the other two are permanent and this one's limited edition but i just love the way that she has done the colors i love the picture of her on it i love the kind of sunset shades behind her as well and of course she's done that usual thing that she does of using the highlighter on the actual packaging itself so that when light hits it from different angles her cheekbones her eyelids and brow bone and cupid's bow and lips and nose and everywhere else she's got the highlighter on lights up and then you open it and what i really love and it's so different okay it's a bit dirty because i use it i've been using it quite a bit inside the normal cover that you've got on there is actually a kind of transparent piece of plastic of the cover of the actual palette and then the difference between this palette and the other two palettes as well is that the inside rather than having those daft instructions inside telling you how to contour and all the rest it just says Huda Beauty with the leaves on the front so it looks like this and then here is the actual palette itself how stunning is that now obviously to look at a lot of products you're like they look pretty in pictures but in person and in reality and on the face, do they work? Now, I know that I didn't give the most positive review of the other two highlighter palettes. This one now, I don't know what it was. As soon as I saw pictures on her Snapchat as well as swatches and things, something said to me that I would really like this. And you know what? I was not wrong. I absolutely love this palette. I'm genuinely really happy with this palette to the point where I give it a 10 out of 10. Even, even that melted strobe cream thingy. I know it's called melted strobe, but that is her marketing term for a cream highlighter. And then you've got the 3D highlighters, which are powder highlighters, which are just basically powder highlighters. And then what she's written on the back is highlighter, palette, melted cream and powder, luxury blend of light reflecting pearls, buildable glow, effortless blendability. And you can apply the cream one as a base to smooth the skin and amplify light reflecting pearls and then top it up with the other shades either combined or individually to shape and bring about the pop now the colors are absolutely stunning every single one of these goes with my skin tone whereas with the other two one or two would work but not all and i would think that for 40 pounds i would want pretty much every single color to work not just that Huda is not releasing 10 different types of highlighters this is one if you are fair if you are medium and if you are dark you should in all fairness be able to use all four of these otherwise i find it to be a very discriminatory collection release if that makes sense everybody should be able to use it if you're only releasing one do i think that everybody could use this i would definitely say yes this cream highlighter what i did was i used a beauty blender but not damp because i find that with a cream it can soak into the product and it can almost make your foundation slightly patchy if you try to use it with a cream highlighter i used it dry and then i tapped the cream one onto my uh, cheekbones and i was like wow it's the most amazing golden highlighter but it really stands out and then and then i applied malibu and copacabana 
over the top. So then I had gold on top of gold, but this is more of a bronzy gold on top of the gold. And then I added the pale pink and, ne and that has given me this most gorgeous, amazing highlighter. I absolutely love it. Does it emphasize pores? Textured skin over here? Yes, it does, but not too much. Again, it will also depend on how much you layer that highlighter. I have layered it three times. I've told you guys before, textured skin or not, I don't care. I like how it looks on my skin. I'm really happy with the colour of it. So overall, I'm really happy with these. I'm easily able to pick them up on a brush. I've used a fan brush brush here, which is my Morphe M501 to just blend it out. Very uh, blends really easily very finely milled powders and overall I'm really really happy with this and I love the colours. This one here I know it looks a little bit scary but it's really not. It's a beautiful kind of purpley pinky sort of shift and it will look amazing especially on dark skin tones it will look amazing on you. Now obviously the names are from beautiful sunny holiday, des holiday destination Saint Tropez. Have I been to Saint Tropez? I went to the south of France I know I went to Nice and Monaco and Cannes. I didn't go to Saint Tropez. I was like, they're all the same. Beautiful place, by the way. Malibu, Copacabana, and Mykonos, which is in Greece. Yeah, Greece. Um, so I'm going to quickly show you some swatches of these finger swatches. So this one is Saint Tropez, the cream highlighter. And as you can see, is a beautiful golden shade. This one is called Malibu. This is a stunning golden bronze shade. This is Copacabana. This one is a beautiful kind of iridescent baby pink. And this one is Myconos. This one is a beautiful holographic type of purpley lilac shade with hints of pink in it. And that's it for my swatches and the review of the highlighter palette. Love this. Give it a 10 out of 10. Really happy that I got this. I really hope that Huda continues with this level of quality and shades as opposed to the other two palettes, which I do use, but I'm not that happy with. I will link my review below so that you can see why in more detail, but I would really, really recommend this. And as it is limited edition, I would try to get my hands on it quite soon before it's gone for the summer. So I got three of them as I said. They come in slightly different packaging, again like that one. She's done it for, she's gone for the um, palm tree leaves in different colours and then it says summer edition down here just so that it makes it different to the other liquid lipstick packages. So in the UK these retail in at £18 each which is quite pricey. I was just looking online. There were four all together. The one that I didn't get was Bikini Babe because I'm a bit funny when it comes to nudes especially in lipstick, liquid lipstick form. Sometimes they just don't look that nice or flattering on the lips. They can make your lips look very concealer mouth. They can make your lips look scrunched up. They can make them look a bit flaky and then they can settle within the lines of your lips as well so I kind of stayed away from that one so the ones that I got were Mamacita, Jet Setter and Wild Child now just to get straight in I'm not a fan of these and for me to say that about Huda Beauty's uh, liquid lipsticks it must mean that they aren't that great because I've been very honest with you guys in saying that Huda Beauty's liquid lipsticks are some of the best on the market from her permanent range i would say that every single one that i've got and i've got loads i haven't got all of them yet but i will definitely get all of them because i love them that much they are generally not too thick and not too thin but liquidy enough that you can apply it all over your lips without it starting to dry halfway through application they apply opaque they are comfortable they are not as drying as other liquid lipsticks and I actually did see the shades of these and I thought hmm she's very brave to do those bright coral kind of shades which other brands have not really been able to perform in the same sort of way when you when it comes to well I mean we'll leave this jet setter one because it's not a coral bright one Mamacita and wild child one is like a coral orange and the other one is like a coral pinky orange now because they have got that pigment in it it means that they feel slightly gritty on the lips they do not apply clear and opaque they apply very patchy and i have to then end up layering it in order to get rid of that patchiness and it becomes more and more patchy and also if you smush your lips together which you can do with many liquid lipsticks but it transfers from top to bottom leaving patches on top 
and I would definitely say that Wild Child is the worst performing one. Mamacita, you can kind of work with it and you have to layer it. Unlike the permanent liquid lipsticks, you don't have to layer them. These ones you do because of that whole patchiness, you can still see your lips through it and whatnot. And with this one here, Wild Child, I actually find it's ones which have got more coral in them. This one is orange. Um, the ones which have got coral in them, they tend to feel like soft grit inside them, inside the actual liquid, and it just doesn't feel comfortable at all. I've got ones from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think it's Sweet Talker, which is very similar, same sort of quality. I've got from Dose of Colours, one like that as well, same sort of quality, and Colourpop as well. I haven't come across a, br a brand that has been able to do a coral-based liquid lipstick and it actually looks good. Even normal lipsticks, like I've got some MAC ones, they used to perform in the same sort of way. It's got something to do with that coral pigment. When somebody finally comes along that is able to do a liquid lipstick in this shade and is able to have amazing quality, I'll be the first one to put my hands up and go, wow, finally somebody has done it. Jet Setter is okay. It's not so bad. I don't know what it is. I think it's more the colour more than anything else. I find that maybe if there was a bit more pink to it that I would have liked it a lot more. The quality of it is not bad. The quality of this is like the other permanent liquid lipsticks because this is not a bright, bright colour. This one is a very kind of muted pink sort of shade. So I guess this will be more down to personal preference rather than me saying don't get it because it's not good. It's okay I just don't really like the color so much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this what I'm wearing right now I'm wearing Stila's uh, stay all day liquid lipstick in the shade Fiore and I have got ignite glitterati lip topper on top and to remove all liquid lipsticks you just need to use a, an oil based makeup remover and um, I just use Vaseline to remove it scent of these is exactly the same as the liquid ones like this strange coconutty kind of smell. Go for applicators are exactly the same. They're very clean and tapered and easy to use. And the same frosted glass kind of packaging is the same as she has for her normal liquid lipsticks. So this is Jet Setter. And as you can see, this was one layer, so it was nice and easy to apply. And it's just, I don't feel that the colour suits me as much as I would like it to. I mean, you guys may agree or disagree, but personally, for my own personal preference, I just don't really like the shade so much. It's like um, an off pink, an off baby pink, like with a bit of yellow to it. And what happens is, because this is one of those nudes, that after about 10-15 minutes it settles within the lines of my lips and it's starting to do that already and because it's a very pale colour the lines in your lips look more accentuated whereas even though the same things happens with dark liquid lipsticks because the colour is so dark you can't tell So this is a wild child. I tried to keep it to one layer, which was very difficult. I really wanted to go back in and apply more, but I've done the best that I can do. I'm not sure how much you can see on the screen, but I can still see bits of my lips in between. I mean, the color is nice enough. It is one of those ones where if you are like a skin tone of mine, or if you're darker, when you apply something as bright as this, it can make your natural skin tone look darker as well. So sometimes it's one of those lipsticks that is best worn with a tan, or just the lips and maybe just eyelashes and literally nothing else because it will kind of interfere with the other colors on your face and kind of draw the color out, if that makes sense. So this one, it's so sticky, it's still not drying, whereas the other one, Jet Set, are dried pretty much straight away. The consistency of this is different as well. I can feel there's little bits and pieces on my lips, so my lips don't even feel smooth if I lick them or, like, touch them. And you can just see it's just not looking good. So this is the final one called Mamacita 
and this one is better than wild child but it's still not good now it's not super gritty like the other one is this one is quite smooth the color is wearable it's a bright orange but still everybody can wear it whereas i don't really think that the coral one is wearable for all skin tones um i can still see my lips through it it's not fully opaque it does not apply cleanly meaning you will have to go in with layer upon layer but just for the purposes of this video i've just done one layer but when i have worn it out and about i've had to layer it more than once so that i've got full opacity and so that it looks clean and tidy for me but throughout the day it does start to do the same thing that the other one does because it's not all one color it's darker in one area lighter in another area those areas start to fade and as they fade they just don't look good at all some when they start to fade they're all fading at once because it's one layer of color whereas with this one it'll start to fade in the paler areas first then the darker ones and it'll just look patchy it just doesn't settle well on the lips and it still feels quite sticky a lot more sticky than the other ones as well so unfortunately this one as well is just not that good i hope you guys found this video useful uh, let me know what your thoughts are if you're planning to get any of these products or have already and what your thoughts are below other than that i hope you guys are fabulous and great on my eyes um i'm wearing steelers magnificent metal in gold goddess isn't it just i just love their magnificent metals and i'm wearing the huda beauty rose gold palette on my eyes everywhere else as well as her palette too because it's a huda beauty day obviously so yeah um that's it i don't really have anything else to say i don't think no um i hope you guys are fabulous and great and i will see you all in the next video bye